In this video, I'm walking through one of the most popular plans with Taylor Morrison. This is the Laramar plan. It is for sale just under $998,000 in the beautiful community of Treviso. And we'll talk about the community later. Just focusing in on the home, this home has square footage over 3,900 square feet. We have five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and we're gonna cover every room in detail, including when you walk, walk in through the front door, we are open to the second story. And like usual, we're gonna walk right away to the main living area. And what I like about the Laramar plan is it's got a lot of tall ceilings, wide open kitchen, which is where we're gonna start. But I wanna show you this, because I think this is one of the main parts of this home. This living room with tall ceilings and i love what they did here with the fireplace tile going all the way up to the ceiling sliding glass doors that open up that space to the patio and we're gonna head room by room here in detail now my name is rod sahu i'm a realtor in austin texas and i've represented clients with 19 different builders including Terrell morrison several times over just in the last year so i'll give you my perspective on what I'm seeing in this home compared to what I've seen elsewhere. In the kitchen, what I like how they did, what they did here is they have a light countertop. It contrasts with the darker cabinet colors, it's got this brown color. And I like overall how the kitchen looks like it just keeps going and going and going from this angle. So do you see all those cabinets all the way down to the butler's pantry area and actually a dining room, which is at the front of the home, which we'll get to later on. I like how big it looks from that angle. I've had a lot of buyers walk this plan as a model home. And this is gonna be my favorite space, this kitchen, living room, breakfast nook area. We even have this space that is for a refrigerator. And then we have lots of closets in a pantry right here. Now, when I say one of the most popular plans with Taylor Morrison, it depends on the lot size. So usually Taylor Morrison is allowing this type of floor plan to be built on a 70 foot wide lot. And then the minimum it needs is a 60 foot wide lot. Now, that's a 70 foot wide lot. And I know that because they have a third car garage bay and you can usually only fit that with a 70 foot wide lot. And we'll head out over there and I'll show you that in detail. What I wanna come back to is this main living area. So that's the floor outlet. I know we're wa walking this empty, but if you can imagine just putting a couch right here, TV right above the fireplace where they have those white electrical boxes. They even have some, uh, a conduit. So a conduit runs right from there to probably on this side actually, which is what they usually do. Yep, right down there. And these are all things that you can pre-plan if you wanna build this home from scratch. Maybe you don't like the upgrades that you're seeing in here, or you don't like the lot. The beauty of looking at these plans is you can also build them from scratch on so many different lots in many communities across Texas. Okay, so that's the main living area. As you can tell, very tall ceilings, very open concept. Let's take a look at the breakfast nook area and then head outside. Now, like I mentioned before, we are in a community called Treviso. Now, Treviso is really known for its views and its beauty and its premium quality, meaning people can build, you know, 4,000, 5,000 square foot homes or even custom homes in this neighborhood that build up to six, 7,000 square feet. A lot of pros in this neighborhood that I'll talk about in a second, like the beauty in the hills, and there's some other growth that's happening around this area. I would say one of the cons is we don't have fences built in. So you do have to put this in after market and they have to be wrought iron, just like you're seeing here off the patio. So it would look like that. So you may not get those privacy wooden fences. And sometimes that can be looked at as a good thing because sometimes those fences do start to uh, break down over time, especially when you have topography. But the obvious advantage is you just don't get that privacy as much in your backyard. Uh, especially on a lot like this, the solution to that that I've had buyers do before is planting trees that can grow fairly quickly. Usually takes like a year or two for them to grow out and put them on the edges of your property. 
to give you a little bit more privacy. And I can give you an example of that. If you reach out to me, my number's at the uh, bottom of the description of this video. I actually have one of my uh, f good friends who did that in their backyard. It looks fantastic. And uh, it doesn't even look like there are neighbors behind them. But again, that does take some trees for you to plant. Okay. We will talk about the growth in this area. We are in a, a, a suburb of Austin, Texas called Leander, Texas. But I wanna focus in on the plan. This is going to be the primary bedroom area. Got some good windows off the back wall here. And in this community, there are view lots, but it would be difficult to get a view home, uh, especially a Laramar plan, under a million dollars like you're seeing with this home. Now in the bathroom here, we have a couple vanities, a tub, and then a walk-in shower. They did do the tile all the way up to the ceiling. I like how they matched that tile with the floor shower niche and then they match that same tile here in the bathtub they have a window here for some natural light to come in uh, that's just gonna be a linen closet over there to the right of that vanity and then this would be a good look at the closet I like how they continued the tile into the closet Usually not that much of an expense, and it's nice where it just looks like the bathroom is continuous with the closet here. I do like that when the closet is facing directly into the doorway. So if you can imagine the doorway right there entering and then the closets on that side, uh, that's when I think it looks really nice where it goes all the way down, and that's a good upgrade to have. I think it does help you at resale as, uh, Sorry, the uh, commode is on this side. Let's quick show that to you. I do think that helps with resale as people do factor in the primary bedroom and bathroom into their decision. Really for resale, it's your main living area and your primary bedroom and bathroom, right? And that's why when you're doing upgrades in the home, you should be really focusing in on the areas that are gonna come back to you for resale. Okay, let's keep going here. We do have on this side a powder bathroom. I like the tile that they put in here. You can always have a lot of fun in your powder bath. And then when they put that same tile in the utility room. So you see the ventilation and a plumbing on the right side there for a washer and dryer. They did do cabinets in here with a sink. And when building from scratch, so I've had quite a few buyers build from scratch just in the last year with Taylor Morrison, um, some that were even in this community. And uh, I've had some just get the plumbing for the builder and then they do a sink aftermarket. So if you're planning on doing your closet build out, uh, in your primary closet with the company, usually they'll offer cabinets as well. Okay, so this is gonna be one of the structural upgrades that's in the Laramar plan, uh, usually as an option, and that's the second bedroom downstairs. So I am in the second bedroom downstairs. It does have a closet, and it also has an in-suite full bathroom. Now keep in mind, if you do this upgrade, it usually takes out the tandem garage space. So usually as a standard, the Laramar plan has a three car tandem garage. But if you need that second bedroom downstairs, maybe you have parents staying with you for weeks, sometimes months. Maybe you don't want them going up and down the steps or you really have value having that second bedroom down. Then this is the way to do it. And this is where building on a 70 foot wide lot is great. Because keep in mind, we're just under 4,000 square feet for this home. I believe the exact amount was 3,970. I think having a three car garage is very useful at this square footage because usually you have somebody who needs a lot of room in here, at least a two car garage for a couple cars and then an extra bay for garage space. 
You know, on a 60 foot wide lot, you can't fit this extra third car garage space. So you need a 70 foot wide lot. And very useful to have. You can imagine a couple cars on this side and then storage right behind me in this third car garage bay. And there are a lot of people <laughs> moving down to Texas where they're accustomed to having basements and lots of storage space. And then when they realize there's no basements here, they ask, well, where are they gonna store everything? That's where having that extra garage space is very useful. And I think even does impact resale at this square footage. Lower square footage plans, again, you know, it's gonna change from community to community, but I don't think you're gonna have as much of an emphasis on garage space. Okay, so they kept this open as flex space. I don't think I've seen this before in the Laramar plan. Most people will frame this in to be a study that would just put double doors right in this opening that we're looking at. But they kept this open as a flex area. So if you're planning on working from home, just keep in mind, you're not gonna have as much privacy because that's gonna be open. But you could of course try to do something there after market. You know, it's just drywall and framing out for a doorway. This is going to be the dining area. So they did have two different light switches. One of the light switches changes, uh, turns off the lights on the sides, and then one of the lights turns off the light in the middle. And I'm assuming they did that for the middle light to be converted to a chandelier or something like that. That's definitely something I can verify with the builder, but usually they do that so you can pick out your own chandelier and put it in aftermarket. We just need to confirm that there's blocking in there on that center light. But usually if they did electrical like that, that's probably why. Now I love these windows off the front of the home. You can get an idea of the hillside over there, which is incredible. And I do see the, um, I think there's a detention pond down there. So I don't think they'll be building where you see the fencing and that wall area there. So that's the beauty of Treviso, you just never know where you're gonna get a view. Now, I showed you this from a distance. This is gonna be that butler's pantry area, how I mentioned the uh, cabinetry does get extended all the way down here, which I think is great. Now, there will be a lot next to this one, so don't always expect that you'll have open space there. There's a lot of construction going on in this community called Treviso. It's actually a master plan community with over, uh, sorry, just around 3,000 homes. I actually think it's just under 3,000 homes. Okay, let's head upstairs. And while we head upstairs, I'm gonna look through one of the bedrooms that's right here at the top of the stairwell. I did wanna talk about the area that we're in, which is called Leander, Texas. So it's a fast growing suburb in the Austin metro area. And it's fast growing because of the tech that has come to this area. So in the northwest part of Austin, Apple is building their second headquarters. There's also a second downtown of Austin that's emerged called the Domain that's located about 10 miles north of Austin's downtown. Apple's building about 15 miles northwest of downtown. And that spurred a lot of growth in this area of Leander, Texas, because there's a highway called 183 that runs through here. And that leads you to those two areas I just mentioned. Now, such as Apple, there are uh, two children's hospitals being built in the northwest part of Austin, right on the edge of Austin and another uh, suburb called Cedar Park. And so there's a lot of employees still coming. So Apple's just finishing up their first phase of their headquarters, and now they're on to their second phase. I believe they have a few phases to go. And then uh, the Children's Hospital, one of them just opened up in late 2023. The other one's opening up in early 2024. Both have around a thousand employees each. Now, I'm not one to hype up the market. That doesn't mean you need to buy today and prices are always gonna go up. Uh, I think there are opportune times to buy. And I think if you look at the long-term growth, which is what we really should be focusing in on, the long-term growth in Leander looks very promising, both due to employment and many developments. Now, before I get into those developments, let me just tell you, we walk through one of the bedrooms that has an in-suite full bathroom upstairs. The other bedrooms are located around this side, but I wanna to get to the media room and the game room next. And I wanna also show you how open concept this home is. So I showed you this angle from below. 
I want to show it to you again. Everything's open to the living room and to the kitchen. You're also open to the main entrance down there. But what I love about this plan is if you like to have some privacy on your second floor, have a, a, your own separate space. In this plan, you have two different areas to do that in. The first is you have this media room. So you see electrical up there on the wall. There are no windows in here, so you can make this into a theater experience. There's even electrical right above my head for a projector. And then you see on either side, those white caps are usually pre-wiring for speakers, something I can definitely double check, but usually those white caps on the walls too will be for speakers or like a subwoofer, something like that. I love that about this room. You do have double doors. You can close this in. I think so many people are looking for that theater experience on their second floor or just like a hangout area that you can close in the doors. But then on top of that, you also get this game room. I love this game room because of the space. I know you're not seeing this stage, but I can always link up a uh, uh, the video to the model home of this plan. Now there might be some structural upgrades in that model home you may not see in there, but I'd be happy to walk you through the differences if you have any questions on that. But I love how this has windows off the back wall. In fact, usually when uh, uh, Taylor Morrison has view lots in the 60 and 70 foot wide range, uh, you see a lot of Larimar plans being built on there for this exact reason. These windows look right off that back wall can really take advantage of a beautiful view lot. You also have electrical on the wall there for a TV and a lot of space here. Okay, now we're gonna walk through a couple of bedrooms that have a Jack and Jill full bathroom in between them. And while we walk through these, I wanna get back to Leander and tell you about the growth that's happening here. So what I would look into when I'm buying into an area and I'm buying, or I'm looking at a home like this, that's a uh, under, just under a million dollars. So this is a big asset, it's a big purchase. I wouldn't listen to anybody about what's happening in the market or what their guesses are of what's gonna happen in the next few months. Everybody who's been guessing has been wrong and the people that are right are usually wrong on their next guess. So I wouldn't really look at the short term of the market. It's really just gambling. Nobody has control over it and nobody really knows. Everybody's just guessing. But I'd look at the long term and the long term growth of Leander is very simple. Look at projects. So if you look up Leander Northline, Leander Springs, Indigo Ridge, the Bell District, these are big projects that I would look into. And I'd look into the developers of these projects and ask yourself, why did they decide to build these projects in the Cedar Park suburb and the suburb of Leander? Specifically, look at Leander Northline. So that's currently under construction. And when I say big project, a mixed use development project means that they're gonna be putting in restaurants, shops, a park, usually either like a hotel or apartment complexes, basically a place that you can park your car, walk around and get that urban feel, which I think so many buyers want when they move a little bit further out of the city. And basically, if you look up Leander Northline, Leander Springs, those are massive projects that include everything that I've just mentioned that are coming to the Leander area. Northline project that's already under construction and Leander Springs that's planned, Indigo Ridge isn't planned, and the Bell District is currently under construction as well. And so when you have these big billion dollar developers coming in and investing that type of money into an area, they're not making a five year bet on that area. They're making a 30 to 50 year bet on that area. And if you want more information on that, follow the president of the developing group for the domain. If you want information on that, I'll send it to you. But I attended one of his talks and he talked about growth in the Austin area. And he said five years ago that Austin would grow with multiple centers of gravity, not just around downtown. There would be multiple urban, urban like projects that people want to be around. And sure enough, here we are. It's end of 2023 at the time I'm posting this video and there are projects all around Austin. So if you want more information on what those projects look like and where they are, so you know where the smart money is betting, where they're thinking the best long-term growth is going to be, reach out to me. My number's at the bottom of the description of this video. 
And if you want to see another, if you want to see actually the Laramar plan, this plan stayed to get you a better visual of what this looks like, then click on the thumbnail that's right here on your screen. And then if you want to see more homes for sale, click on the link at the top of the description of this video. And as always, I hope this helps. Take care, everyone.